Uh, hello everyone. Uh, in this tutorial, we learn how to create uh, pie charts uh, and owner charts uh, in Python using Plotly. And we'll do this in the nine steps that are mentioned here. So let's go ahead and start uh, importing the libraries. We'll use only two libraries for this tutorial. One is Pandas that we'll use to handle the data frames. And the second one is Plotly that we'll use for uh, plotting our uh, pie charts. So the data that we'll use here is very simple. So it's uh, just two columns and three rows. The columns are country and sales and we have the sales across uh, the countries, China, Japan and US. So what we'll try to do is in a pie chart, we'll try to represent this information. So uh, let us create the most basic pie chart that we can. And we do that by simply using the statement px.py. And we mention the data frame in consideration. We mention the countries and maybe mention the values. So what uh, Plotly will do is it will create the pie chart according to this information and it will provide the data labels in terms of uh, percentages. And uh, when we hover on top of the chart, uh, it will uh, show us the value and the country as well as as is being seen uh, while hovering over here. Right. So what we'll do, uh, the donut chart is very slightly different from the pie chart. Uh, the only difference being the donut chart has a hole at the center. So what we'll do is we'll convert this pie chart into a donut chart and we'll uh, carry forward the rest of this tutorial using the donut chart itself. So how we do that is by simply adding uh, this uh, attribute which is hole equal to 0 0.5. So when we give it as 0 0.5, uh, if we give it as 0 0.9, it will basically uh, the uh, the size of the hole will increase if we give it as one it will be uh, let, let us try to see and let us see what does one look like yeah so one it will basically uh, the hole would occupy the entire space let us keep if, if we give it as zero there will be no hole so let us keep it as 0 0.5 which appears uh, to be a decently sized hole and what we'll do next is let us also represent these data values which is 140 100 and 150 with our data labels here how we do that is by uh, by inserting this particular statement which is fig dot update traces and then when i mention text info i'll mention post plus value so post would be the percentages that is uh, percentage that is uh, there and then value would be the exact value that we have so now we get a better sense as to what exactly the value is and what exactly the percentage share is as well. And what we'll do next is let us add a chart title and we can do that by simply adding the update layout statement and mentioning the title text and the uh, title text which will tell us the uh, or, uh, tell us the position of the title. So once we do that we have our uh, chart title in our chart. What I'll do next is instead of having the legend here at the bottom right, I want it uh, at the top right, I want it here at the bottom center. I can do that by simply adding this particular chunk of code. Uh, and what that does is it will, firstly, it will change the orientation of the uh, legend to horizontal. So here you can see that uh, like we have Japan, then below Japan we have US, then below US we have China. So I want it in a horizontal manner. So once I do add this attribute which is orientation equal to h so it will make the orientation as horizontal and then we have these other attributes which will ensure that the uh, uh, that the legend is placed at the bottom center right so what I'll do next is I instead of uh, having these default colors I want specific colors for my countries China Japan and US, uh, Japan China and US so how I do that is by uh, adding this uh, attribute which is color discrete map and here I need to specifically mention for each country which uh, color uh, should it have. So for example here for Japan I have mentioned aquamarine for US turquoise for China aqua. So you can see that my chart has a bluish green sort of a theme. Okay so what I'll do next is I'll add a theme for our chart and here for illustration purposes I have, have uh, shown that what uh, our chart would look like across all these themes and what you can do is by simply pick a single theme and then add this statement called template equal to uh, let us say ggplot2 then you can uh, mention this template element is ggplot2 and that will change your theme to ggplot2.
But first, let us have a look at what all the themes look like uh, for a pie chart. So as you can see that uh, I have seven themes here, but uh, they look all pretty much the same except the plotly dark theme which has a uh, dark background. So I'll uh, I won't do much. I'll simply use the the, the plot theme as has been done here, and uh, then I'll create my final chart. So once I do that uh, and execute it, so here is our final uh, customized good-looking donut chart that has been created. Uh, thank you everyone for watching.